With module 27 launching tomorrow, we are getting a new lockbox. That is the usual way of things. Two lockboxes every module. Now this one will adorably contain a giant space hamster mount. So let's have a quick read through the block. Again, this is coming out tomorrow, replacing the older lockbox, but you'll still be able to obtain those from the auction house. We'll be getting the giant space hamster mount and the Xeraxian defector companion. Pacific's on the mount. Here he is. This is what he's going to look like. Pretty cool. Anybody questioning the legitimacy of this? Well, it is a thing they done in Dungeons and Dragons with the Spelljammer module there. You even have a stat block for a giant space hamster. But ultimately, this mount is going to have some unique powers. The mount has got four insignia slots, two of which are universal. The combat power, supposed to shield allies and yourself and give control control immunity and a movement speed buff and the equip power is supposed to be crit strike and forte but to go into more details which is really nice they've been adding this lately they added this with the battle pass blog as well on the details of the artifact but the slots here for the mount will be able to have executioner's covenant a cursed resolve with the preferred real insignia but if you give up that preferred insignia slot and use other insignias you can get master's precision mender's covenant trainer's restoration they even display with this who they believe the bonus would be for and they're not wrong with that situational beneficial to tanks and healers here healers focused etc so not the worst mount but nothing really great there i would have liked to get another tacticians with the cooldown reduction when you use daily power here but moving on the combat power hamps sphere god how do you pronounce that you can read through the flavor text here but ultimately at a hundred percent mount bolster and this mount being already on mythic you're going to give 20 percent of each target's max hp and shield you're going to give them control immunity and movement speed plus 45 percent with a duration of 10 seconds that shield and movement speed will vary based on your bolster for the number crunchers there's some extra information 0.6 second precast with no post animation lockdown really nice at launch you can interrupt by encounter powers daily powers and tactical mechanics but if interrupted the power will basically just be cancelled and they want to do a patch so that the cast can be animation cancelled and still take effect but you won't like remove the cooldown by doing so the radius is 50 feet but in a patch at launch they want to change it to affect all party members including everyone in a separate trial party and have no like max targets and will still affect companions otherwise it normally has 15 targets out in like a zone doing a heroic encounter or something Right now, it will currently stack with other shields and temporary hit points. That will be a bug. And in a patch after launch, they want to make it to override shields and temporary hit points from most powers, but coexist with HP and shields from companions. And the same will be for other mount powers that give shield as well. It shouldn't stack with them, but it will from the get go. As for the equip power, you'll basically just gain 2,250 crit strike and forte when again at 100% mount bolster. They hope for this to be a useful stat combination for healers as well as DPS classes. Ultimately, I don't see the combat power as being all too useful. It's situational, nice to have the movement speed, could be useful when running through a dungeon, but not really for this new trial. Unless you want to crutch the CC immunity and not get knocked around by the cannons, I guess. But otherwise, let's go to this companion, the Xeraxian Defector. With the summary, the companion enhancement is a little bit different to the other version called Precision, where you gain 5% instead of 7.5%. This is to make it basically more reliable. When we read the details here, they say that like Precision has a 10% chance to receive the buff when striking enemies. And in testing, this buff is between 66 to 80% uptime, which wasn't reliable. So they want to come out with a new one, which is this one, which the actual buff is 5% crit strike on max. This is lower than the proc version, which is capped at 7.5%, but they believe it's a reasonable trade-off, which it could be, particularly for some classes. You're basically gaining 5% crit strike all the time rather than the chance to obtain it with the offense enchantment precision you're basically getting 4.5 percent crit strike and three percent crit severity 
that's equivalent of 7.5% stats. So that's that can be useful for a healer, I guess. Unfortunately, it can only go in offense and universal slots. With the combat powers of the companion, basically got exploding arrow, fires an arrow at an enemy, dealing less damage in an area around the target. Range is 80 feet, radius 15, cooldown 2 seconds. So it's mainly single target with a little bit of AoE. Starlight beam, forward facing in cone, damaging all enemies in its path. Range 55 feet, arc 35 degrees, cooldown 10 seconds. And then sticky bomb, attaches a bomb to an enemy, dealing damage to the target and every enemy nearby after 4 seconds. Range 80 feet, radius 20 feet around the target, cooldown 20 seconds. Interesting. So in closing, they hope that these new headline rewards are appealing to you and these lockboxes do require enchanted keys to open and retain the same reward structure as before, including plenty of items that will help you continue to progress your character overall. So it won't be anything different in terms of the other rewards, just the new companion and mount. So the structure will be just like this. You'll have a bar which you can progress. You have a chance to obtain all of these rewards there and you open them and you'll get your guaranteed rewards after you open a certain amount there. At 250, you'll have a choice back of the new mount and companion. Overall, decent lockbox, pretty unique mount there just with the visuals. The powers it has is not that special. It is a four slot mount with again, these insignia bonuses, not bad. You can use executioners for DPS if you need the stats and menders for healers. The combat power has some niche cases, particularly for crowd control immunity and a massive movement speed buff. The companion will have to see. I'll have to test her out. She is pretty much AOE focused with a lot of like splash damage on her powers, but she does have that unique enduring precision, giving that reliable 5% crit strike all the time, rather than depending on a chance that normally precision would have right here. You need to have your summoned companion and if it's mythic you get it on max quality and that only has a 10 percent chance to trigger so that's interesting i hope they bring more of those out more reliable stat bonuses rather than those chances with the amount of stats going around we could very well use it but on some classes where you have a lot of damage over times a lot of hits you can generally rely on the 7.5%. So with that said, a massive thank you again to all these channel members for their added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.